now with a little over one hour of Arduino day left, I got to rush things a bit. And uh, what I want to do is I've got this, uh, this multimeter with this USB port. And when you crack it open, you'll see that uh, the USB ports actually uh, completely separate from from the uh, from the multimeter, and it's got this uh, TX uh, LED, which is an, an infrared LED. And I have tried to decode the protocol that comes across it before, and I did that in Visual Basic, and I'm quite sure it can be done in Arduino as well. And that should be fairly straightforward. Um, that's an infrared uh, photodiode. And if you're used to LEDs, you just turn them uh, upside down, which is the, um, the the longer pin goes to the to the negative side, uh, like this. And that's a, a a 10k resistor, if I'm not mistaken. And I'll put that against the the positive rail. And I'll feed five volts to the positive rail. And ground to the ground rail. And that should give us a bit of a signal here on the on this voltage divider that these two components make up. Okay, so that'll be That'll be the common ground, and here we got the the signal. And if I switch the scope on, then we see well, like nothing. Doesn't work. Oh no! Ah, I see. Sorry. Yeah, right. Um, you don't need a, a fancy 200 megahertz scope. One of these below uh, 20 buck uh, kit scopes uh, really is good good enough for the purpose. And you can see my light here. It's this uh, it's this LED light. If I switch that off, uh, um, we can we can see that it's it's not filtered very well. So, so I, I leave leave this out for for the moment, and if I if I then take the meter, turn it to say temperature, switch on the USB interface, and place the LED over the the sensor, then we should get packets here. In theory, oh, that's the ground connection. Sorry. Yeah, and there you go. You see this, these serial communication packets going through here. There's no modula uh, additional modulation on it, uh, like like a carrier that you would have with a uh, with a remote control. Just see if I can get get a clearer picture here. Ah, uh, let's let's do it single shot. Yeah, you see here that, that you you've got a, it's not not really super steep here c coming up, but there's there's no additional modulation on it. You you would have some 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 artifact somewhere in in the middle if there was some ad additional modulation on it. So this this looks pretty straightforward. To, to decode. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna hook this up to a to an Arduino. I can have the lights back on now. I hook this up to a, to an Arduino Uno. Uh, Uno. It it works just the same way with a Leonardo, and it even works with an ESP8266. But I I had problems with that. I, I'll go into that in my blog a little later. 
Yeah, so um, what do we need to hook this up? That should be fairly straightforward. We don't need the power supply anymore because our Arduino will supply the power. I can, I can also unplug that. So, that's going to be the ground and that's going to be the 5 volts. And this here, which is our signal, is going to go to pin 8. Uh, but you can design that uh, the way you like, because we're using software theory here and you can sort of choose the pins that you want to input your signal yourself. Right, what else do we need? USB, of course. So, we hook that up to our PC. And next thing we need to load the sketch. Yeah, so in the code you can see the uh, that's the initialization sequence that, that sort of starts the whole transmission. And then I made two subroutines, one that decodes the uh, the bytes following and uh, I, I, ju I just call this uh, these subroutines from or from the main loop. So that should be fairly flexible, really. And now when I, you can see it's got like uh, 19 or 20 degrees in here. And if I place that on top here, we can see it working away on the screen. Oh, that isn't terribly usable yet, but uh, you can see the point that we are, we're going to uh, develop that into into something a little more useful, especially if we if we have it internet connected, and we can say run a web server on uh, either an Arduino or preferably on an ESP eight two six six. Yeah, so placing this. Uh, th photo diode over the infrared diode is really critical and you can also see that from time to time it gets a wrong reading so maybe my my code is flawed or um, or the positioning is too critical uh, anyway there's gonna go a little more work into that thanks bye